guys, what's up? Coming at you from the beach here. Just kidding, I'm in my living room. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys all my very first summer DIY. First off, let me just say, I'm so sorry to those of you in the Midwest that just had a really awful snowstorm this past weekend. I'm out here in Arizona and it has already hit triple digits a couple times, so it is pretty much summer here. So I figured I would get into the summer mode and start doing some DIYs. So I picked everything up from Dollar Tree and this one is so stinking cute. I can't wait to show you guys. It was so super duper easy. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Wendy. I would love it if you would stick around and hit that subscribe button. Also, by the way, this is from Dollar Tree as well. This little backdrop. Doesn't it just feel beachy? Okay guys, hope you found the humor in this like I did. All right, let's get into the DIY. All right, so here's what you're going to need. You're gonna to wanna to pick out three pairs of flip-flops. Uh, I have seen some of the signs where people do welcome, and that way you're gonna need another flip-flop. So if you want to make a welcome sign, you're gonna need four pairs, but I wanted to do summer, so I only needed three. And then I found these little flowers and dragonflies in the little, I think they're by like the floral area. And then I actually found these little stencil numbers with like the, school supplies and pens and stuff. And then I got this bow and then a pair of sunglasses. So the first thing I did was laid out the flip-flops in the order that I wanted them. I wasn't exactly sure how I was gonna stagger them, but I just kind of wanted to keep the pinks like separate and like put the blues in there. So just, you're gonna wanna lay them out however you want them. And then next I'm just taking my white acrylic paint and I'm going to stencil the letters onto the flip-flop and I am just using a regular paintbrush and after I did this I saw that you couldn't really see it very well up against the flip-flop so then I just took a big black permanent marker that is actually from Dollar Tree and I just outlined all the letters. Once all the paint is dry, you're gonna go ahead and glue the flip-flops together. So I kind of overlapped them a little bit uh, on the side and just glued them in with my hot glue gun. And then I just took all of them and kind of overlapped each one the same exact way. I'm gonna go ahead and take some twine and I'm gonna put a couple little holes in the S and the R and I, this is how I'm gonna hang it. So I'm taking my X-Acto knife and then I'm just gonna push a pair of scissors through it so that I can get the twine through it. And then I'm just gonna tie the twine in the back and then have a little hanger for it. Now that I have it flipped over, I'm actually gonna go ahead and glue it some more just to reinforce it so hopefully it will not fall apart. So as you can see, the bow is all the way up at the top. I went ahead and glued it, but then when I went to hang it up, it wasn't hanging right. So what I did was I hung it up and then I took the bow off and kind of centered it so that it was like equal on each side and then I glued it like that. And then next you're just gonna take all your cute little embellishments and glue them on there. So I did the sunglasses, the two little flowers, the dragonflies. And I think this turned out so stinking cute. I'm actually gonna make one for my mom. So I really, really like how this turned out. And once I hung it up, it wasn't hanging completely how I liked it. So I actually took a long wood dowel that I had and I glued it to the back of most of the shoes. It fit over like four of them. And that just is holding it in place much better. It lays up against the wall a lot nicer and it just makes it more sturdy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. This is one of my favorites, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye.